And we're back, part two of week two of uh, Tides of Change. Welcome back. How's everyone doing? Good. Good, 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 good. good. Surviving. <laughs> I'm groovy, dude. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we left off. We just left off as the secret door opened to reveal the staircase down to the dark below. What's everyone doing? Well, I'm not going first. I don't have a Well, way. before no. we go down this... Poke your sticker there or something. Well, yes. Um, I can indeed. So, um, Sorry, what are, we, it, what are we looking at? Is it a circular thing down? It's a or? square. It's, it's literally a square. It's because the, uh, the, 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 tr- the secret door was actually just a square opening. Well, it's probably about... No, the stairs. stairs. Or is it just like... Uh, yeah, the stairs just literally go straight down. Okay, so it's not like circular thing. It's just no. Okay. Uh, go ahead. You were saying In... something, right? I just wanted to know what I was looking at. No, I was going to ask exactly the same question. Okay. So. Ah, okay. Perfect. Yeah, stairs d- literally go straight down. What's everyone doing? I'm looking around for someone else to volunteer. <laughs> I'm looking well, at the people with Tyra lights going. Uh, should go. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I suppose I'll go first on. Um, know what I'm looking for, I suppose. So I'll start down the stairs. Okay. Uh, what is going to be your marching order as well? Just just to give, just for me to know. I guess I'll go second, I guess. I, I guess I have the shield, so I probably should go in the lead. I'm third. I'm in the middle. Well, Brody, if you go at the back, because you've got the other light source, yeah. Um, it means you can protect... Us from behind, and if anything comes up, we can always shift around a bit. All right. Yeah, then, I'm going to cast leaves, light on my shield. Cool. That leaves um, if you know, Shara, you go in the middle because you've mm-hmm. got the ranged. Uh, I'm tiny. I to... do not have any ranged anything. I have a rapier. Oh, you have a rapier. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bard. I sing yeah, but I what thought you, you might. Me to do? I thought you might have a crossbow or something like that. I traded it in for a rapier by magic at the beginning, in the middle of the fight. Oh, okay. Um, uh, then... What do you think is a ranged weapon? I mean, didn't you ever watch Silver Fox? Throw it. This is true. This is true. <laughs> um, Thank okay, you for well seeing then... the only other person who knew Silver Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what Silver Hawks is. I've, I've... Uh, think oh Thundercats in space. <laughs> Except that they and... spread it on rock guitars in oh space. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm metal have to look suits. For this. Yes. Oh yeah, dude, it was fantastic. So, uh, yeah, did they so have just... cones on their head? Did they have cones on their like? Or, no, or that's like... mask. No, I think that's a mask. Cone, was... I know what a mask heads. was. Well, one of them was no. like a space cowboy. Like they were all like uh, cyborgs or androids. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, like there was like a little kid one, and there was one dude who was like a cowboy, and he was like shred on his guitar in space, and like they extended their arms, they had like little wing things that popped out, like glider suits. Are you making this up? <laughs> no. I totally He's remember not. Silver Hawks. <laughs> See, that was up later. Much up. Can, can, <laughs> you can tell you can tell that, you know, some of us didn't get exposure to this at all. No. Because we're looking incredulously at you. <laughs> I mean I, I barely got in I, I've only just started watching um Voltron on Netflix. Oh yeah. god, that's the old. That's They're doing the really one. good on that. They're doing really good on that. I need to watch it. But right. okay, get it back. Get what back. to the bottom of the stairs? <laughs> so you get to the bottom of the stairs. It's a um it's basically a corridor. Mm-hmm. It leads further down and there is a metal it's definitely it's some sort of metal looking door that sort of closing, you know, that that separates this this corridor to whatever's beyond. It's about 15 foot. The walls are all, you can definitely tell that there's been seismic activities because um, all the, pla- the what was once white plasters, a lot of it's crumbled away, revealing like miraculous, not miraculous, you know, um, well built brickwork holding up the inside. Um, and the, the, the top of the roof is curved as well, um, which, which uh, but yeah. Um, there's not much on on the walls. It looks like once there was a 
um, perhaps, you know, running along the bottom, uh, uh, surrounding the wall with some sort of remnants of possible gold leaf around it to make it look, you know, important. Um, and you can you can just make out some remnants above the door. There's some remnants of writing uh, over the archway of the doorway. But it's 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 too badly corroded, mm -hmm. worn away, whatever. Time has time has got to it, and it's it's no longer illegible for what's being written. Carl, okay, do you want to have a look at the door? All right, uh, let me let me buy here. Let me see. Uh, So there's some, so there's lettering. Oh, um, tricks of the trade. Sable traps. Maybe. No, I don't know if there's a trap. I can't read the. Uh, I'll do a trap expert again. See if there's okay. anything. Okay, give us a roll then, please. Describe how you look for traps. Just, just give me a, get you know when, because you're gonna need to start describing. Oh yeah, no. Uh, uh, what else? Um, like obviously looking for stone that seems out of place. Uh, tapping on uh what seems different. Looking for uh. What's the uh, a frame? That's what I was looking for, or like if there's a breeze coming from behind it, uh, something that like the words are eroded away. Is there words that well, that's, stand it's, out? It's above. It's above the doorway, so it's literally you know, like because the door the door is probably you know it's on an arch because it mm -hmm. gives it the most strength, and also the roof is curved as well. But yeah, there's um there there is like remnants of writing it, which has been engraved but through time it's worn up been worn away so okay. if you'd like to give us a trap ex is it trap expert or so trick of the trade uh tricks of the trade is uh let's see tricks of the trade uh when you pick locks or pockets or disable traps trap expert is uh if there's a trap is a if so, how to activate it? Uh, what does the trap do when activated? What else is hidden here? So oh, I'd use, in this one, I'd use what else is hidden here, which is what I rolled with 13. So you give us a roll. Have you rolled, yeah? Yeah, 13. I rolled in, Okay, yeah. so you get to ask all three if you wish. Uh, well, yes. you do, you got all three. Uh, what else is hidden here? Um, you do find a loose brick. Uh, a, a loose uh, paving. Uh, you do find a loose slab mm -hmm. um, or, or brick flooring. Um, you pull it up, and it and underneath is a key. Okay. So, all right, guys, I found a key. Is there a keyhole? Wait, is... So I'll, I'll pick up the key, uh, place the paver. Um, now, if I use the key in the thing will it activate a trap so what's your other questions remember you got yeah. two holds still to spend two, yeah. uh is there a trap here and if so what activates it there is no trap here okay so that means the key is fine and then the other one is since there's no trap uh i don't really need the third question then in this case uh Ask these questions, yeah. Um, what is the third question? The third question is, what does the trap do when activated? Oh. <laughs> what does the door do when activated? Open. <laughs> Shit. What does just, the door do? It just, so you, just so you know, how, when it says hold, you can hold on to them and spend them at any point. Oh, okay. So you don't even have to just... This door. That's correct. Cool. I mean... If you come to a new area, I might require you to have to redo a roll because you've gone come to a new area. 
So basically, um, it enables you to spend it as you go along, as you go along, uh, rather than having to search every single trap. You can okay. sort of like spend it as you go. So what are you doing? There's a door in front. Like I said, there's a large metal door in front of you. It looks like it's made out of lead as well. Oh Jesus! Um, so uh, I'll I'll get down and I'll find the key and I'm like, guys, I got a key. Also, watch your step before I replace this brick. Um, and I'll hand the key to Brody. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna give <laughs> here this. Here you go, Brody. Here you go, Brody. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any traps here, but you can never be too sure. You may have the curse of key. <laughs> you may have the, the curse key. This? I'm guessing we look for a Bro locker Brody, or Brody. something in the door. Yeah. Brody, Brody doesn't Brody. have doors where he comes from. He just figures that any lock door is <laughs> broken. Brody, Brody, look, Brody looks around to see um, to see Cole is now back at the you know the stairway. Yeah, yeah, just keep going. Just keep yeah. You, you open that door. I was like trying to open the door. I don't even use the key. I just like open to open the door. It's locked. This door is broken, dude. Give me the key. I'll take the key from Brody. <laughs> you guys could explain to him how keys work. <laughs> okay, Brody, see but this the little hole. Is there a keyhole? It's it's like a normal yes. door handle keyhole thing. Yes. Yeah. So you take this, you put it in the hole, and then you turn it, and that unlocks the door. Can you hear it go clunk as I turn it there? Clunk. Oh, I think he's frozen. Uh -oh. Who's frozen? Oh, no, I thought you were no, for a minute. No, no I'm, she was asking I'm, letting, you. I'm letting you role play. No, she's I'm teaching Brody you. how to open locks. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Brody's yeah. not even paying attention, yeah. right? Forget it, Brody. I'm just opening the door. I, I open the I'm door. <laughs> Brody's spacing out. I, what? No, I'm paying attention. Uh, turn the key. Can I hear me? So you Can got you it? Do you understand door do, Yeah. Uh, sorry, it's completely dumbfounded that you don't know how to unlock a door. <laughs> he's just got. He's just, like, he's, he's just standing there with the mouth open, just not really understanding why you're being taught how to unlock a door. <laughs> you fixed it. Hey, yes, good job. that is how you fix doors. You get these key things, and you put them in the hole and turn it. Oh. And it's gonna be. Okay, let's take that key because you might need like it for other idea. doors. Like, why don't you guys just use like curtains? Like this door thing seems way too complicated. Because there might be something valuable or dangerous back here, and we don't want it to just walk out through the curtain. Oh, okay. Mm. See? Seems a little too complicated to me, but all right. <laughs> I'm opening the door. Okay. <laughs> um, you open the door. Um, it opens up to a larger chamber. Um, you can see little out from the little light that you're getting. Uh, that's speeding in through the corridor. I don't know because I, I assume uh, where are you all standing? Who's who's where? Who's not where? I assume well, Brody's right near the. Apparently, I assume Brody, I'm in the front now. I assume Brody's in the front now. I mean, he is. I thought you were in the front. The uh, uh, no, wizard I was in the front. In the back, and then Carl handed me the key because we're uh, all standing. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I'm in the front. Now. Yeah. Yeah. just just standing there, still looking quite confused. <laughs> so yeah, um, so so there is a bit of light bleeding in through the uh, the the, um, the the corridor, but yeah, there's like out there's the room is it's a large room, and there appears to be stairs that go down, but it's completely open. As you can see across to another door, just uh, on 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 the lower plane, I guess the lower floor. Mm -hmm. It's um, uh, there's like. Uh, stone carved like railing around the edge that you're on and you can just make out little dark alcoves around the, around the edge of the room okay, well i'm just gonna get downstairs because this is a library and we've opened it with a key so it's probably not trapped <laughs> do you still have the key then i assume i uh, if you didn't take it off me then yes yeah all right <laughs> guess i just walk up to the next door try yeah, to open let's it go Walking um, down the stairs, looking in so, the alcoves. So, so yeah. So you unless in, somebody yells out for me to not do that. <laughs> so you enter the. So you enter it, and it's um, you can see like remains, but um, in the alcoves you can see like um, there's all like ledges um, like carved into the actual like well, probably built around. You can see there's like 
remains of cloth that that that's that's lay that's been laid out and there's um remnants of like a uh, possibly a skeleton skeleton structure there but there's not much you know there's there's nothing else around there's just a lot of dust and ash around mm. um in, in fact you know there's um <clears throat> you can actually see like footprints uh, that have, that, are, that, are, that have sort of disturbed the dust, but the dust is, you know, there's sig. Uh, why am I making up words? Sigament. Is that a word? No, that's sediment. not a word. Sediment. 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 There's like <laughs> dust sediment. There's yeah. dust sediment that is dust and re powder like shit. relayed over. It has been relayed over these footprints. These footprints are probably like hundreds of years old. Uh. You know, that they, they've been left there. Um, and as you start descending the stairs, you are descending the stairs, yeah? Who I'm else is going? Walking downstairs, I'm, I'm looking at the bodies and the <clears throat> catacomb walls going, who buries, who gets buried in a library? Librarians. Um, yeah, it's a full-time, it's a lifetime job, isn't it? Um, what's everyone else doing? Are you all just entering in or well, I'll let you all tell. So let's go with, we'll go with, Carl, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to be going, I'm going to go down the stairs. <laughs> I think we went out there. We got to. Oh. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to be looking around. I don't have a light. I'm literally. No, stuck you, we to, do have our light. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm stuck gonna... close to you guys. It's not going to be like, come with me and track you along. Well, you got like well, two torches. You got two torches yeah. in the hallway. <laughs> I was going to say, the, the light from the spells is equivalent to a torch. So if we're all in the room, then there should be more than enough to light a room. But that's true uh i don't know i'm gonna hang back because it's a library i don't necessarily know i'm gonna be like look guys this is this is not my forte uh i know we're looking for a book and there's a shit ton of them back up there but uh and point behind me i'm like but i don't know where we're going <laughs> Keanu said to go down this way dude <laughs> and i'm like walking <laughs> as i'm walking to the next door to open it yeah. <laughs> It might be You're gonna practice your new skills. Oh, there is money. There is money. Do I feel like desecrating corpses? Just bear me. I'm just gonna quickly just draw up what I, what I have in my head, so that you, just to give you a visual of what it's like. Don't expect, you know, Van Gogh here. Mm. Just just expect some shitty, quickly drawn dungeon. Well, not dungeon, but uh, area. Catacombs. So you got an idea. I'm just assuming it's some kind of Skyrim catacombs. I'm expecting Drogras to pop that's, out that's, in a minute now. Are you getting my, a Skyrim uh, screenshot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you are now. I am now. seems easy. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, how do I do circles? All right, I'm going to desecrate one of the bodies. Not like Hang a on. filthy way. Hang on, I'm going to move you onto the map that I've made. Okay. This, ain't, this ain't for combat or anything, it's just a map, just to give you an idea. So this is... Oh, I forgot to put the door in. Uh, <laughs> so, the, so this door is where you came in from, and then you've got oh. two stairs that go down. Okay. Oh. Does that make any sense? And then you've yeah. got another door, the opposite side. Oh, fuck off, stupid thing. <laughs> just move that one. And the footprints we go. were going which way? Are they both? Right. I'm going it's left. One, there's probably just one set of footprints, but yeah, they, like I said, they're, they're so fucking old. There we go. There's my brilliant footprints. Oh, I did not notice the footprints then. All right. Well, I'm going to start heading down the stairs to the right and going for the door, I guess. Okay. That's the footprints are. Um, can you all give me discern realities, Rose, please? Uh, what is that one based off of? Uh, if you look on your basic, if you if you look on the handout, there's basic moves. I just mean like, what stat do you run off of that one? I just wisdom. well, I'm just it is wisdom, yeah. Okay, yep, good then. Actually, it probably should just be one of you giving it, whoever's got the highest stat in it. Brody. Oh, okay. Brody is most wise, dude. <laughs> All right, so so if you look at the, can you look at the move for me, please, Brody? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, no, you don't need to look for a bloody book. So that's just one reality. No, no, 
if you look at if you look on if you look where the character sheets are the, the page, man. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you look at if you look where the basic move is if you look where the cat sheets are there's handouts with all the moves on them so you don't have to so you just can look at that i find it really hard to read that though yeah. well you just zoom in. zoom in yeah it's annoying and weird yeah i'm old i like books <laughs> So, all right. All right. Uh, 10 plus, ask the GM three questions from the list below. Uh, I'm going to go with... What here is not what it appears to be? Um, the dead are definitely not dead because you can hear the sound of um, sand. It sounds like sand. You know when sand is poured from... From one hand, and it sort of like pours yeah. onto the ground. You hear the shh. Well, you can hear that, and as you look, you can see um, the sand or the ash sort of wrapping around the um, the remains of the skeletons. Um, as six, well, what? Any other questions you want to ask? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and guess that that already takes care of uh, what I should be on the lookout for. <laughs> um, this. What here is useful or valuable to me? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> the door. You're all really valuable to me. I just want to correct, correct answer. All your stuff yeah. is valuable to me. You, you, my, I mean, possibly. I mean, if you could, uh, I mean, there is going to be, you think there's probably going to be about five or six of them. Um, you think that possibly using a, the door or the, the or a bottleneck to um, help, you know, defend yourselves might help. Um, that might be valuable to you. And any other, and your last question? Uh, I'm going to hold that one for now. Is it a hold? Can I not? No, it's not a hold. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I can already kind of figure out what is about to happen here, but... Uh... You might get a more specific answer if you ask that question, then. Like, you might find out what way they're going to come. Or... We might not get attacked. <gasps> Let's go with... Um... Who's really in control here? Um, the answer's the same. It's like that. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can definitely taste the magic in in your you know the sort of the the, the flavor of the weave in your in your in your mouth. Um, possibly the wizard can taste it. As, you know, there's there's sort of like the hair standing up on the back of your neck or whatever. But you definitely know that um, this is some form of defense that's being put in place. Uh, in in this catacombs, uh, these these are obviously not librarians, but sort of priestess <laughs> uh, uh, priests of um, priests of uh, whomever. In fact, in fact, uh, what's valuable to you? Uh, in fact, what I forgot to mention is in the centre of the room. Uh, let me draw a new square. In the centre of the room is a statue of something. Um, you haven't had a chance, good proper chance to look at it, but it does look um, that might be it. That might be something that might help you uh, uh, def defeat your opponents that are coming. Okay, so <clears throat> whoa, <I> mean... <laughs> skeleton dudes! Hang on, I got something for this. And then I'm going to do uh, turn undead. Okay. Do you want to give us a roll then? How does this look? Uh, when I turn undead, I'm just going to pull out my, my holy symbol <laughs> and take a big uh, puff on my holy symbol. <laughs> <laughs> and see how I roll before I finish this. Okay, that works. <coughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, how's it going, skeleton dudes? 
Yeah. And so, like, everybody, you should, you know, so, stay close. <laughs> so on a magic roll, on, on that cast, on a seven to nine, you need to pick one of the three things that happens. Uh, for mine, on a seven plus, as long as I continue to pray and brandish my holy symbol, no undead may come within reach of me. That's uh, turn on dead. No, but I'm, I'm talking about the actual cast spell itself as well. If you look at the, the, the your move on your cat sheet, uh, that's not a spell. That's just a, a starting. Basically. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I didn't realize start. it was. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Let me have you. Why is that? Why have you not written in any of your moves? Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it next. I'll do it during the week. Oh, uh, I didn't get on the D20 during the week. I had other things to do. <laughs> um, just like a starting move uh, thing. All right. Yeah, turn on dead. It's just turn on dead. <laughs> I don't know. It's written in the moves. I just haven't filled out the description for it. All right. I'll I'll sort that out. I'll, I'll probably do that uh, during the break or something when we have our next break. Um, so... So what what happened? Seven to nine. Can you read it for me? Because I'm oh, uh, undead can't come within reach uh, as long as I continue to hold my holy symbol. Well, they can't come in reach of you. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So you know, cluster around me. <laughs> so what's everyone else doing? As these like, as you hear like the sa- the sounds oh. of sat. It is well, it, it also. Uh, it, it's any other thing, but uh, being aggr- aggression breaks the effect if I'm aggressive towards them. Okay. Kind of like uh, charm person. Uh, I guess. So there's the dais, there's these priests. I'm just sitting back watching. Like, I'm ready to go through the door whenever we go through the next door. Or if I've got a Actually, still outside the room. I'm gonna sit outside the room. Be like, I'm gonna wait here for a second. (laughs) I'm just sitting there chanting like, "Banana way, banana (laughs) way, banana, banana way." (laughs) Okay. Well, I was heading down the stairs on the left, so I reckon. Mm -hmm. You probably had this realization when I was somewhere around the second step. But have you actually told us anything about this or just yeah. started blowing smoke? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, whoa, skeleton dudes. What's up, skeleton uh, dudes? Yeah. <laughs> so. Actually, they're ash zombies, which Andy came up with last week. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They were bones before, and now they're just getting some weird sandy skin. <laughs> but yeah, they sort of get up. You, you see them sort of like they are, ter- you know, these are things are terrifying. There's like them, they, 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 they're probably made up of all sorts of things like dead human skin. Ah. There's bits of there's bits of bone sticking out of them. Their teeth all like rotten teeth that are all sort of there's definitely no skin around the mouth they're sort of like yeah so they do sort of like look a mixture between a, a skeleton with like f- fake skin put over it which you know which is you can see it's just move constantly moving around it's you know you know the skin is constantly moving you can you know and if any of you watch one of them reform you just see these flattened bits of clothing just you know sort of fill out with like you know, you know, ash made uh, muscles made of ash and and stuff like that, and they sort of get up and they sort of. Uh, so where where are you, Brody? Can you can you mark just mark uh, yourself yeah. on just mark on the map where you are? We're not going to use the map for it's just so that we can get start. You know, just just figure out where everyone is. Well, uh, and uh, how soon when I started walking in did um do you reckon before these things started trying to activate? Well. Um, if I rightly remember, Shara went in first, and then yep. I'd assume you followed Shara. You was following Shara, so you're probably just. It depends if you went the same route. Did you go uh, the same I route? Said I, I did... said I was going over to the right because I was. Yeah. Okay, so you're on opposite. You're basically on op- at the exact same point at an opposite end, uh, opposite side. Okay, so, so I'm probably like so the first step up there. The, 
because we won't be this map we don't use battle maps because it's all narrative driven but just to get a rough idea and glacier you're still out oh, sorry uh mm-hmm. carl you're still outside the building you're still outside the room and what about you um at F- Tyrek? where are you uh i'm standing at the front well in front of the door but at the edge of the balcony piece the mezzanine piece so I'll just put just put a little x we just 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 oh. to start i was trying off. to do a piece i was trying to do a piece symbol and <laughs> it didn't work out that that was miserably <laughs> okay. there meanwhile it looks like andy is doing the hammer and sickle <clears throat> what are you, looking at, are you are you looking at the are you looking at the sim are you looking at the um statue uh, well, I, it, uh, it would be in my field of vision, but I'm not actively looking at the statue because okay. I don't. Brody hasn't told us anything about it. Yeah, I did. Oh, the stat. Oh, I didn't tell you. It's a large. It's, it is a. It is a large statue. It's math. It is you know. It is yeah. sort of math. I'm just. I'm a just. Statue. Yeah, I mean, I'm not paying. Yeah, it's a statue, but the ash zombies are a little bit more important to me at the moment because I don't know the significance of the statue. So um, from all, so from all, all around the, the room, uh, these ash zombies sort of start sort of climbing out of their um, <coughs> their uh, alcove sarcophagus, sarcophagus thingies. You know where you know they've been laid yeah. to rest. They're ledgers. I'm gonna scream and run towards Brody. <coughs> Get me. Ah! Okay, you start screaming and running. Yeah, I'm running this way. Don't, oh, yeah. So don't worry about using the map. We'll yeah. just, you know, we know where everyone is now. Okay, um, I, 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 I did misspeak on the turn on dead thing. The aggression breaks the ten plus effect. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, so you, so one starts getting up near you, um, Brody, but obviously you pull out your 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 symbol and go back, whatever, back foul demon. I don't know. Blowing smoke at him. <laughs> but yeah, you, um, what's everyone else doing? I mean, um, so uh, Shah has run towards, uh, is running towards Brody. You can see a few of them start like coming up the stairs from where 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 Shah was. They're trying to. They're clearly avoiding the um, the 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 the, uh, the, the, the Brody. Um, because obviously, you know, they're, they're, but they're going to find other ways around if they can. Um, I mean, they're, they're undead, but they're not fucking dumb. Well, they might be dumb because they ain't got really a brain, but they're, <laughs> they're, they're finding the place with the least resistance, I guess. So, what oh, are you doing? Going for the vulnerable. Are there stones or anything <laughs> on the floor? Yes. Uh, Rubble and st- yeah, dudes all around. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be very shortly. Yeah. Um. So I want to find like a, a, a fist-sized rock. Okay. There is a fist-sized rock. Cool. I'm going to pick it up. Uh, and learning from my previous mistake, I'm going to cast cause fear on the rock, <laughs> and then throw the rock, um, at the well, at the top of the stairs, basically. <coughs> all right. Give us a cast. Uh, a cast spell roll, please. Whatever it's called, cast magic. Abracadabra. Shazam. Finger wiggle. Eight. Okay, so the spell is successfully cast, um, but uh, obviously you need to make a choice because of the mm-hmm. <coughs> cast spell. That the spell not going off as well as you hope. So you need to. What, take either a plus what might whatever it is. I can't mm. Yeah, so it's either <coughs> unwelcome attention or put myself in a spot. Um distribute the fa- disturb the fabric reality to take a minus one, or after the spell's cast, it's forgotten. Um I can't cast it again until I prepare spells. So I'm gonna go with draw unwelcome attention oh. or put myself in a spot. Um I, I just look at it cause Fear depends on how intelligent these things are because it doesn't work on things with less than animal intelligence. I know. Okay. I just make sure you do that. Gotcha. Over there, we'll see how intelligent they are. At least that will give us some sort of information as well. So and I can drop the spell at any time, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so, yeah, so I'll just draw unwanted attention to myself or put myself in a spot. 
Okay. So you're standing near the you're standing near the the the, the, the um the bal the balcony bit, you know, yep. the, the, the higher up bit. Yep. Um so you and what you chuck you've chucked the rock uh, over near where the stairs are, yeah? The top of the stairs? Yeah, the top of the, the idea is to stop them. Oh, yeah, they're they're afraid of the rock and they'll hopefully have to go around the other way. Okay, so you're so you you know, you cast this spell and you've you know, you've onto the rock and you you toss the rock across the uh across the way, you know, it lands roughly where you want it. Um, mm -hmm. And as you look round, uh, you, you obviously it was too focused over that area to notice that one of these ash zombies had had started to climb, had had climbed up uh, the, the railing next to you, right. and, and it's and it's now sort of leaning over the top of the railing, and it goes to swipe you. What do you do? Uh, I am going to throw myself backwards towards the door okay, to try and get us, out of the way. Give us fire danger based on decks, please. Eight. One moment. Just bear with me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, no problem. No worries at all. So <clears throat> you do manage to dodge, but it does manage to grapple. It, it manages to sort of like, it does connect with you, but it doesn't connect as it, you know, the strength. The, the strength of it is 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 reduced. So I'm I'm actually just I'm gonna roll a D two. So it's literally a coin floss. A floss. Mm -hmm. Why am I mm -hmm. making up weird words? <laughs> Dude, I'm closed. It's the best today. Uh, so he does two damage minus any, minus any armor that you have got on. So he does two. He he sort of like bats okay. you, you, know, you. You sort of yep. you manage to roll with it. But he does get. Some of it, you know, he does manage to land a very minor blow upon you. Yeah, all um, my uh, I, my leather armor absorbs some of that, but not okay. quite all of it. So I'll take a point. But yeah, see, so, you know, it meant um, there is like, you know, you, it, it hits you, you know, it, it's probably just with its fingers, to, fingertips, mm. really. And you know, you do notice that, you know, it, the fingertips sort of like. Ex not explode, but you know, because it's sort of made out of dust or sand or whatever, they sort of they sort of disintegrate, and then within seconds they sort of like start growing back, and you know, it starts to form, and it starts to sort of like pull itself up on over the railing. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, that, that, that's not good. No. Uh, Carl, what are you doing? Uh, I'm seeing that. I'm going to be. Uh, I'm like, no, let's get out of here. We can funnel him through the door and take him out that way. Come on. Okay, so you're going to stand there not doing much. I'm not going to do much, and I'm going to be like, no, guys, just, we can funnel him through the door. It's easier. <laughs> okay, uh, Bro D, what are you doing? Uh, I guess I'll start, since Carl said that, I'll start back and uh, walking back towards the door and trying to, like, you know, get them help, help him up. Like, all right, come on. But I'm also like, banana way, banana way, no, no, no. I'm surprised you're not doing the Congo, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm standing and... behind Brody doing the Congo. Shara, what are you doing? Okay, you're standing behind doing doing the uh, the Congo. I'm hanging on to Congo. Brody for dear life. <laughs> I don't even have my rapier out because I saw that thing reform its fingers and the rapier is not going to help. We will because you'll do no, nothing. Just, it's just, you know, it's just narrative, you know, description of how things work. It <clears> threw <throat> its fingers. 
Shia is like, nope. We already grow our fingers. What is that so amazing? Wait, what? Both finger nails, I suppose. <laughs> Okay. Um, so I'm just so, kind of herding everybody back towards the door because yeah. Carl can do that. Are we sheepdogging the things towards the door? Or are yes. we just sort of going? Well, then Sheep they're now. You, you can now. Well, they're now sort of all sort of going towards the middle and starting to climb up. You notice that none of them are touching the statue as well. Hmm. So, Tyrek, what's what are you the, doing? What's the drop between the mezzanine level and the ground floor it's probably about five five to ten foot drop it's probably okay. it's probably a real you know it is a is i guess i think the term is split level is there a split level i think that's the term isn't yeah it, it yeah. works split level or a mezzanine so um is the cool sphere working they are avoiding the stone yes okay good so in that case, I'm going to move towards the top of those stairs. Like stand up, obviously. Yeah. Um, oh, you were not the the No, I was threw myself tabled? backwards. Oh, okay. I threw myself oh. backwards to get out of the way. Um, so I'm going to get up and go towards where the stone is, mm -hmm. the top of the stairs. Then pick the stone up. Okay. And you see go. them. The, you see them all sort of like pile up over you know the the cent the center of the um where you was and then i'm gonna the, throw the, the stone or roll the stone yep so that to try and get it in front of the door which door the door that everyone else is at uh so everyone's over here okay well they're sort of they're sort of um they are sort of like um you you can see that they're they're not going near the door, but they are surrounding the door, if that makes any sense. Because yeah, someone because there's someone there stopping them from. Oh, you're still closer. you're still doing your um banana way. Okay, yeah. then I'll I'll hold on to the stone. Okay. I'll and I'll walk down to the statue. Okay. Wait, so are they now afraid of the stone or drawn towards the stone? They're afraid of it. Okay. And they're afraid of um Brody as well. That's why they avoided the stone. That's why they yeah, came up. They, they climbed up. Hmm. Which makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, then I'll, I'll, if they're avoiding the, the statue, I'll go down and you know, stand here <laughs> and have a look. Have a look. That's, that's the weirdest X I've ever seen. That is definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of chameleon. It's elvish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's it's a magical rune. Do you want to give me a spell lower roll, please? I can. You probably won't have enough time or you know you probably won't be able to pull out a book for this, but No, yeah, no worries. Oh, boo. No, no. Mark XP. Guys, I'm pretty sure this is wood. This is rock. <laughs> <laughs> this this statue of a uh, flying lion is amazing. <laughs> it's definitely human. Uh, That's what I meant. You know, this statue of a human is, is really you, well done. Yeah, this could be uh, Dave the Benevolent. Who knows? Clearly not Thyret. Uh, the ones yeah, that, uh, I don't feel like Thyret would probably admit that. You know. <laughs> no, this is this is definitely, definitely Jeff the God of Biscuits. <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. you've got no idea. Um, okay, bear with me because I get to do a move now. Oh, I'm go I'm going to pretend that I'm intently studying it um, and <laughs> not that I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at the way he chisels on this sense. statue. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sort of pace backwards and forwards to see it at different angles, and um, you know, reach up and and run my hand over it, you know, to make it look like I'm sort of touching it. Yeah, he had yeah. a, he had an accident exactly. here. It's very rough. Very uh, you, rough. Make make, you, make lots you, of hmm, so, and oh ah oh, so, oh, so, so you actually so you're actually convinced this is some sort of 
shrine to a a, a, a deity of death. Um, do you believe this is perhaps the um, the mortal or the human, not mortal, but the human, uh, an offshoot uh, religion, or perhaps the original religion to um, uh, Meldok? Meldok. Yep, Lord of Shadows and Poison. And human sacrifice. And human sacrifices, yeah. Okay. Then uh, it's obviously what is it's obviously what's powering the uh, the undead and needs to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, who's gonna hit it? Um, I'll sing a song to aid. I'm I'm gonna take a couple of steps backwards and uh, cast magic missile it. Okay. While shouting, this is powering them. Destroy it. Destroy it. Uh, oh god. I'm singing a song. So. Uh, okay, Please so we fire shall the see. At the correct target. <laughs> <laughs> Not at me. <laughs> Not at me, do Cyrus. Please don't hit me long. again. <laughs> oh. I want to live. All I want to do is live. Let's have a look and see. Gives you. Oh, wait, that's one. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the temple of California. No. <laughs> Uh, no, it's apparently I can't. <laughs> it's not working. I got a six. Who got a six? What? What are you talking about? I did. And he rolled a seven. You got a seven. You rolled a seven. A oh, no. Okay. Um. Then. Oh, I'm reading you... the die. I'm reading the. I've got three D dice on. I'm reading the dice. Not what's come up. Turn them off. I always turn them off. Yeah, I don't know how to. I don't know how to send them off. Uh, oh, you're okay. going I got to it. I got it. No, options. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, okay. So, that's amazing. Then. So, I did manage it. So, you've managed that, and I have given you 1d4 to damage. Okay. Well, damaged. So that's 3d4, please. Um, oh, look at that. You blast its arm off. Um, yeah, so whatever he was holding, it, it, it's, it's you know, you blast the arm off. This arm just comes crashing down to the, the ground. Um, what would it be holding? Sure, if it's, yeah. it's, it's probably holding a book in, in hand. Well, yeah, I'm sure that, you know, that's a representation of the the book um, that uh, Melloc writes all the names of the souls that uh, are sent to him in blood. Um, and it's evil and needs to be destroyed. Or something like that. But what's everyone else doing? Um, so Weaves is singing a song. Uh, sorry, Shah is singing a song. Uh, Carl, what are you doing? You haven't done much. Are you doing anything? Um, if I read saying destroy the statue, um, I'm going to run and jump off the... Uh, what is it called? Balcony? Balcony, Balcony. 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 banister. Banister and railing. like railing and jump onto the statue. Ooh. Okay. But however, there are a horde of ash zombies between you and the statue. So oh, if you'd but... like to give so if you'd like to give me a defy danger, hmm, what would it be? Are you powering through? Because they are sort of blocking your view. So there's view, I mean you're way through. So yeah, give us if um see because decks decks would work if you had space to maneuver, but you don't really have the space to sort of maneuver around them. You're gonna have to just sort of barrel roll one of bear, 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 ball barrel rush roll. one of them. Yeah. Is it barrel roll? Whatever. Barrel. So do you wanna it's definitely you, not you, barrel roll? No, it's not barrel roll. It's <laughs> barrel. Yeah. Barge. Yeah, you got a barge. You can have barrel to... roll while he's jumping through the air though. Matter of fact, I encourage that. <laughs> Panache. Check that dexterity. <laughs> so right. do you want to give us a lateral spin? So yeah, can you give me a defy danger based on strength, please? Oh god. 
Which is probably your lowest stat, or one of your lowest stats. One of my lowest stats. I got an 11. Hey. <laughs> Great. Hey. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so you managed to sort of, like, knock one of these... Um, you sort of, like, barge into one, giving it the elbow. It sort of stumbles back and falls over the back of the... Um, uh, the back of the uh, the balcony and sort of, like, lands, like, on its head and it sort of just just becomes uh, ash and bone again <clears throat> but doesn't reform Wait, what? and you sort of like and you leap you leap across the very small like void between the balcony and the the statue i assume you got a knife in your teeth or in hand yeah knife in hand because that's totally gonna help with this i'm totally hoping body weight will just will just carry me through and hit the statue and the statue will crumble Carl, use your mining tools, dude. <laughs> Here's the pickaxe you didn't bring. Here's the pickaxe I don't have. What kind of miner are you? Yeah. I didn't say I was Honestly. a miner. God, children are now miners. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh. oh, you're that kind of miner. Huh? I didn't realize it was that kind of miner. <laughs> No, no, no. We certainly wouldn't have brought you along if we'd known that was what you're asking. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> uh, we're going to have to have words about this afterwards, but let's find the book first and then what we'll discuss. What do you think I shave my beard? I blend in. <laughs> well, you, you are short, so, you know, I guess. Is he actually short? Is, is uh, Kawa actually a short ass? He is now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm... I was gonna, I'm going to update the wiki. Such I, said, I said slightly above average such and a, slightly <laughs> below average. Such a shame that you're not a halfling because that would work perfectly. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to try and hit the statue with like maybe enough force to like tilt it as I'm jumping. I don't know. Okay. If not, okay. If not, okay. Drop like, kick the statue. <laughs> yeah. It, well, like I'm going to hit it and grab onto it and then if nothing happens, I'm just going to sit there and go like, well, I'm safe. <laughs> um, okay, you, 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 yeah. Unfortunately, it, I mean, you do just jump at it and then hug it. <laughs> I was about to say, can we not drop any more of the scenery on top of me? <laughs> I've had the door on top of me already. You know, I don't really want the statue on me as well because. Yeah. Well, if you have six or less, it might happen. So yeah, right, so uh, so Cal Cal is now hugging. Possibly, um, was it Malor? Meldoc. Mel Mel yeah, he's now currently hugging Meldoc. Why are you hugging uh, the evil statue? Stop hugging the evil statue. <laughs> Just so you know, um, Cole, this this statue is not giving off bad vibes. I suppose that would be more of a on uh, towards yeah. um, uh, uh, Brody, yeah. but it's it's definitely not giving you bad vibes. Like, my, you know, if you ever run across bad statues before it generally gives a sh a sh some form of do you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah. this thing is totally not bumming me out it's an enchantment it's tricking you <laughs> <laughs> right uh, so who's doing what anything besides me well I could sing a song to clear your head of enchantment <laughs> so what are you doing what are you doing Brody you just saw um, you just saw Cole just jump uh, and hug this this statue <laughs> uh, I guess I could do I could probably do a galore roll and see if I know anything about this like Cause I'm just still doing my little chant thing, but all right, give us a spell lore roll then, please. Next day, I was off of intelligence, correct? That is correct. All Which right. probably your low stat. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, nope. <laughs> um, you're, you're in the same boat you're as um, three. You, you, you completely agree. With a uh, Tyret the wizard, that it is it is obviously a statue to all uh, to um to Meldok, and needs to be destroyed. Needs to be destroyed to to stop the spec to, to to obviously to, you know 
get rid of these um <laughs> these the guardians of this probably a tomb that they didn't even choose to be in do you know what I mean free the souls yeah, yeah they were probably human sacrifice that's right that's this what happens when you know mm. you have evil gods around so we're down to five uh the zombie things right now right mm-hmm. that is correct so what's I, everyone, uh, I just had to like shrug my shoulders and start walking towards the thing <laughs> since I got Shara with me. But I'm I kind of like following. hugged to the singing. wall so that I could kind of put myself between the zombies and her. Okay. And Shara, what are you doing? Anything? I'm still singing Break, Break the Evil Statue at Thyrit. Okay, we'll go back to Fire, who's the... Uh, what are you doing, Fire? Are any of the zombies um, close to me at the moment? They're all up on the. They're all up on the. They're still, they, they're still up. Are they close to the others? They're all. Cl- they are all close together, but they're in. Uh, well, they're not in as the semicircle has parted because Brody's come out and and mm-hmm. and forced them to separate. But they are clustered around. Sort of. Oh, I can't even. How do I draw? I can't draw. Cir- there is a way of drawing circles. I just, I just can't remember how you do it. Go there. Okay, hold there. on a shape. Like a shapes thing, yeah. Draw a shape. Yeah, if you do, draw a shape and then hold alt. Is it alt? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, it's not a full circle, just remember, but they're sort of standing around like that. Okay. Maybe a bit, so maybe a bit, a bit wider. The, the zombies are between me and them. Yes. Well, like I said, apart, what way have you gone, Brody? Anyway, have you gone right or left? Uh, we'll go left. Yeah, except for uh, like on the left hand side, that they've they've parted like a wave uh, mm. and sort of like pushed themselves back towards the um, back towards the banister. Um, they're sort of like they want to claw uh, Brody's eyes out and and uh, and Shara's eyes out, but the 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 um. The, the turn undead is is keeping them at bay or okay, arm's so length. The statue's quite meaty, isn't it? It's quite a big statue. It is quite a big statue, okay. yes. So it was bigger gonna... when it had an arm, but when yeah. it had two arms. Oh well, that's right. It's we'll like it. that. It's a yeah, it's a, it's an evil statue, so um it's fine. So it's gonna take us a little while to destroy it. So I think rather than Doing a magic missile at the statue. I'm going to do a magic. I'm going to step to the side, and do a magic missile at one of the zombies. Okay. Just to try and sort of break it up a little bit. I need to rapidly alter my song. When I said statue, I meant zombies. <laughs> wow, rapidly changed. I would probably try to. All right, give us a give us statue roll. instead of the arms, but you know that's me. Well, the problem is, Carl is now hugging the statue. Yeah. Mm, we don't want so, to crush him. And know, you know, you. again, being being an intelligent man, I learned from my mistakes from last, well, from the last encounter, and uh, trying desperately not to hit my friends, well, so, subordinates with. Thinking about it. Hey. Um, uh, what? Uh, well, I said friends. Um, with with magic. So, uh, I'm going to go for one of the zombies rather than the statue. Okay, give us a roll then, please. I need to roll as well, right? Yes, you do. So let 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 uh, Shara roll first. Oh, okay. Because she's doing her um. Oh no. Thingy. Nope, my song has failed. I have rolled a six. Okay. If I roll, I can see your tongue. <laughs> yes, please. I reckon that's probably all right, don't you? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. All right, just give me a second. It's because I made you change the wording to the song and you, you, know, yeah, you stammered. Yeah, yeah, totally threw me off. It's all my fault. You got tongue-tied. Yep. Oh, I can't think of anything that rhymes with zombies. <laughs> Shit. You, you, you actually... You at, so, Shara, you actually... You sort of like go to change the words of your song and you just sort of stop in your tracks as uh, Brody keeps carrying on. (laughs) 
and you gotta sink these, and these and, and the and and these and and suddenly these uh one of these we'll we'll, quit, we'll resolve andy's thing in a second but one of these zombies sort of like lunges at you he's got an opportunity of time it lunges towards you with 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 its you know with its claw like human hand and it's all like goes to like to shove its hand down your throat ah. what are you doing I am whipping out my rapier and swooping it in front of my face to try and cut off his arm. Okay, do you want to give me a defy danger based on dex, please? Yep. I have rolled a nine. Which gives me... So you, you partially succeed at what you're doing. So I need to give you something at cost. Uh, I believe that's how it works. I'm going to open up. Seven to nine, you stumble, hesitate, or flinch. GM will offer you a worse outcome, hard bargain, or ugly choice. So you manage to you you manage to pull your rapier out. You manage to stop stop the blow from hitting you with the rapier, but you've sort of left just you, you've sort of you, you aren't fast enough to bring it back up to hit it again to, to actually lay a hit on it, and it comes. It, 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 it again goes for you with its other hand. So what do you do? Roll <laughs> away. Which way? So I've I've done this, and I can't bring it back. So I'm going to roll this way, which is to so my right, in... and try and get past it. Okay, because if you roll right, you're going to be rolling into more more of the ash zombies. Then I guess I'm rolling left. <laughs> okay. Are you going to try and roll down? I'm going to try, try and roll, roll down Brody. Yeah, as and long down as you stay stairs. close to me, it can't come within reach. All I want to do is stay close <laughs> to Brody and keep be protected by the gods. Hug. <laughs> hey. Give us. Okay. A, give so us. I'm an, rolling towards us, Brody. Give us another defy danger based on Dex, please. Six. Mark XP. XP. Do oh, do I mark XP for that failed IK night? I yes. Do, right? Yes. That's why you stumbled. Andy, do you want to resolve your damage for me, please? I can. So it's 2d4. One of the zombies just explodes in a pile of ash. As this massive ash cloud just sort of like, and 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 this just ash is sort of like left hovering in the air. Um. Uh, the bones, the main, the main carcass is sort of like flung against the wall, and it's all sort of like you hear it. It's all sort of the, the the bones crack and shatter, you know, crack and break. They're fucking old, so it just this <laughs> husk, this this skeleton, <laughs> this, they're fucking this, old. This this really old, the like, and this and the skeletal husk just sort of like or torso just sort of like lands to the ground, legs still standing, and they just sort of fall over. Um, so you rolled a six, didn't you? Me? Yes. Yes, I did. So you, you go to tumble out of the way, but these things, I mean, these things are absolutely horrifying and you just freeze up. You literally just freeze up and, and you're, 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 you lose your train of thought. Like, ah. No, you don't even. You don't even. You you, you don't even move no, don't on even the floor. Roll. You don't even. You just. You go to. And you just. I'm like huh? just. Just the terrifying aspect of of undead. You know, you've never. You've never. You've probably never seen a dead body in your life. Let alone a. Let, let alone a pre. Let alone a reanimated one. No. And. Yeah, you're just frozen there, Brody. What are you doing? You 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 do realize that. Um, that the shower's no longer behind you. I'm gonna lunge back at the zombie that's attacking her. Like put myself. I'm gonna try to cover her. You know, like jump in front of it. Okay. Do you want to give me a defy danger based on Dex, please? Because you're trying to put yourself in danger. In, in. There it is. Sure. Yeah. yeah so you met. So you, so you sort of like you. You sort of swivel on your foot. Um. Uh, you know. Say. Yeah. And you see that she's absolutely. You know. She's terrified she's she's probably changed color from like 
slightly pasty to like and a ch- big ch- pop ch- smoking with face ch- <laughs> ch- chalky chalky <laughs> almost a chalky you know just all the blood from her face has just rushed out of it um <laughs> And you managed to sort of like put yourself between her and the the the, the approaching dangers around her. Uh, Carl, what are you doing? You're currently swinging on the side. You're currently like bear hugging a um a, a statue. I see my plan has failed. <laughs> <laughs> I see I failed. Uh. I really <laughs> thought that would work. <laughs> I really thought this would work. I thought the I would I would hit the uh, the midpoint and be fine, but it clearly wasn't. Uh, oh, there's no, there's no zombies around me. Well, they're behind you. They're behind me. Yeah, probably below you because uh, you're ten feet in the air. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna jump at Thyrat. Catch me! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. The wizard, I can imagine the wizard just standing there and watch as you fall to the ground in front of him. <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> Make a basic move. Dodge out of the way. No. Defy danger. <laughs> Defy danger. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll jump down. I'll be, and I'll go around the, the left stairs. And start trying to take zombies from, and like start trying to fight the zombies. And, okay, the give, us hack and, give us a hack and slash roll, then please. Hack and slash. <clears throat> strength. Six. Mark XP, please. Yay! <laughs> I take it. Okay, so you got, did you say on the left hand side? Yes. Okay, so you are close to, so you're close to Brody and 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 um, Shara then. Yeah. Or do you mean, or do you mean your left, which would be their right? My left, their right. Okay, so you've gone up the opposite stairs. Yes. I want okay. to go so you, from behind you, them. So you start going up. So you head up to go to to you know you 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 sort of like. Get up to you know you you think you're being all stealthy, obviously not, but you know because they know that you're there. <laughs> and um, you you sort of like pull your nut, you've got your knife in hand, and you, you, you know you you're ready to sort of like um, stab one of them, and it just turns turns on foot, you know, just just on swivels on its ball point, spin turns to face you, grabs your hand, and literally just throws you back down the stairs. Son of a bitch. It knows. Take three damage. You Ow. sort of like, as you sort of like, haphazardly like slam into the side of the wall, and and continue to tumble down the, the stairs. Uh, your knife falling out your hand. You can hear it. It's like clanging down the stairs in front of you. Uh, what do you do? You now, you know, you, you sort of like you're not dazed, but you know, you you probably had a bit of the wind knocked, knocked out of you. You you you, you saw your dagger. Is it a dagger? I assume it's a dagger. It's a dagger, yeah. Right, your dagger sort of like your dagger sort of like just just laying like just in front of you. And you can hear the zombie. Well, one of the well, two of the ash zombies come in and down. Uh, well, they're not making any noise. They're like more of a wheezy noise. <laughs> As they sort of like a dry breezy noise, as they sort of like come come down towards you from um, from, from the stairs, and um, yeah, they're about to attack you. What do you you know? They 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 bring that you know <clears throat> one of one of them brings its brings it its foot down onto your trying to crack <clears throat> crack your head open uh, against you know against the flooring. What do you do? Um. I'm going to <coughs> defy danger and by no, getting out of the way. No, you're not. That's oh. not what you do. You need to tell me what you're doing in, in the narrative okay. and then... Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to try and grab my dagger and roll out of the way. Okay, so that's a defy danger based on decks. 
Fuck <laughs> XP, please. <laughs> Fuck. You're gonna level up so hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I was just thinking, like, I'm not gaining any experience. No, I'm going to get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you go to grab your. Bad. He did a hit level. So, he's a level cap faster than the rest. Of us. So, you, so you grab. So you go to grab the. Uh, you go to grab your dagger, and um, one of the zombies sees, I guess, sees you <laughs> going for it. It just puts its foot on your hand. And presses it against the ground. You know, you you you, you scream in pain as it sort of like you know presses your hand against. You can even hear like bone sort of creaking and almost crunching as as the other as the other zombie brings its foot down on your head. Ooh. Ow! Ugh. Take four That's damage, please. Oh. Oh, as your head as 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 it sort of slams. You know, your head sort of hits into the ground and it starts you can feel the pressure being p applied upon your head as it presses down harder and harder on your head um uh tyrett what are you doing you can see like brody uh, not brody you can see like cows in a bit of a bit of a bit of a spot at the moment you can see you know two zombies are literally just like pinning him down against the ground um I am Shoot going to <laughs> throw the stone at him. Okay. At the zombie uh, or at me? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a volley roll for me, please. Uh, what's that, a dexterity roll? It is based on dex, yes. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> okay, so you, she, she managed to throw it towards him mm -hmm. um, unfortunately it lands just out of place but he does manage to get one of the zombies to back away which one either the one pressing down on his head the one that's or the standing one... on him okay well they're both standing uh, oh. one's on his hand oh okay the one that's on his head then yeah sorry okay so it it rolls back and it turns to you and it turns to you uh tyrant and, and and it's dead husk a dead, dead, lot of lifeless eyes that like, locks onto you, and it's all like comes stumbling towards you. As I throw, as I throw the stone, I'm going to shout, "Grab it!" Okay. All right. We'll, we'll come back to you. We'll come back to you in a second, yeah, cool. uh, uh, Cole. Um, so yeah, so this zombie starts coming towards you, Cole. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to grab the stone. Uh, what can I reach it? Is it is it within arm range? It's, it's probably it's probably be, you you're gonna have to look for, you're gonna have to see where it is because it's you, remember your face has just been pressed into the ground. Yeah. And so, uh, and I'm assuming there's a bunch of stones on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, this one, uh, this one, uh, this one. Uh. You're grabbing all the stones. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's the one that's glowing purple. It's probably quite easy to find. Oh. Give us a give us a defy danger based on intel inte in intelligence, please. <laughs> Got a five. <laughs> we are the dumbest party. <laughs> five. Mark XP. You pull up. You pull out. You, you grab the. You grab the rock. Uh, you think is the rock, and hold it up. And it just continues to apply the pressure onto your hand. This is not good. This is not working. No take one. Some people. Take one damage. Fuck. As it continues to press down on your hand. In fact, you you could you you think it, your hand is going to break at any moment. You know, it's going to break. You, your hand is about to like Fuck. break, fracture, whatever. If you don't do something, what are you doing? You got this stone in your hand, but it's not doing anything. I throw it and grab another one. Okay, to find danger based on intelligence, please. Yeah. Yes. Twelve. <laughs> okay, you chuck the stone away, which is obviously I was hoping you were just going to bash it with a stone, but hey, um, <laughs> um, you, you you sort of like you, you reach around, you're looking, ah, you know, you're screaming in pain as you're feeling around for the stone, chucking like pebbles out of the way, and you just you. you the faint purple glow of, of the stone oh, hey. finally reveals itself 
you grab it, and I assume you just hold it up to it. I'm gonna like hit its hit its foot with it. Well, as soon as you grab it and bring it in its present, it sort of backs away into the corner. So it backs away over to here. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to throw the rock at it. You're going to throw the rock at it? Yeah. Okay, give us a body roll, please. Uh, what's that one? It's based on dex. Based on dex. I'm going to assume wisdom was your dump stat. <laughs> So I got a nine. You got a nine, which is a partial. Yeah. She mainly set out to do what you wanted to do at a cost. She, yeah, she throw the stone at it. She throw the stone away. Then you realise that other zombies are coming down the stairs behind you. Shit. Right, Tyrek, what are you doing? As this zombie little lunt sort of comes towards you. How many are left, by the way? Two, two have been killed, haven't they? Yeah. Two have been killed. Yeah. So there's three left or four left? Four. I think there was five. Four left. Yeah, you okay. said there was. Well, with six. You said you said there was five or six. So. At All one right. point there were I'm... hordes, but I think we just stuck with six. Six is a horde. This is what we went with originally. So we're like two down now. Or yeah. Three? Mm -hmm. Two down. One got pushed off a balcony. One got smashed. Uh, well, the magic missile seemed to work fairly well before. So I'll give it a go at casting it again. Um, this time, though, I am going to retreat backwards as I cast the spell okay. um, to try and put a bit more distance between me and the, the zombie, just in case. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, give us a roll then, please. We missed a break, by the way. I forgot to yeah. go on another break. In the it's okay, we'll take the oh, next no. one. Yeah. Oh no, I've got. I've got. I've still got tea left. It's gone <gasps> cold. Oh, cold tea. Um, I like cold tea, but then again, I'm America. Yeah, but is that like cold sweet a, tea or cold tea though? Yeah, I like both. What about a, a technically tea bag with milk and sugar that you leave to go cold? Because that is mm. one of the most revolting things in the world ever. Mm. That's different. I yeah, don't that... mind it. It's almost as bad as licking a con. Uh, 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 <laughs> A big wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow, there you go, making up words again, James. Oh, so, no, um, a cartridge. <laughs> Lick, licking a cartridge. That's what I meant. Yeah. Licking a cartridge. A hey, Reefs. It's pretty bad. <laughs> well, for 30, 30 quid. I'd do it again. This time 40, though. You've got to add, though, yeah. you got to add 10 pounds. That go 30, 10 pounds. Got, you got that 30 way too quickly. Uh, where were we? Anyway, uh, did you? Did you? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to roll damage for me, please? Of course. Loop. Four. Four. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, one of you know the spell blasts off one of his arms, but it's still coming at you. Cool. So where is Tyrett? Are you down by where you? Tyrett is Tyrett is is probably here now. He's probably backed he's backed himself up against the other door. I'd imagine. Okay. Yes, because you was yeah, facing she, in this she, sort of area. Somewhere. It was where that weird Elven rune was, and that went backwards, right? Yeah, somewhere around here. Oh, just me. God, why am I putting blocks on by accident? Um, so, um, well, I'm, I'm, I know you're casting, well, okay, um, Weefs, so, Shara, what are you doing? Um, obviously, Brody's no now standing, um, well, Brody's standing in front of you, keeping them at bay, but, um, can you give me a Defy Danger based on Wisdom, please? Oh, no. Which is probably the, which that is, is definitely my weakest stat. Oh, look at that. Uh, I roll a nine. Okay, um, you start to sort of feel more confident, I guess, in in the fact that, you know, you're no longer frozen with fear. You're mm -hmm. now sort of, you, you can now move. Um, 
but you, you like are much very more relaxed around Brody. <laughs> um, but you, <laughs> yeah, you're definitely feeling that is. chilled. Yeah. You're feeling me. a lot more chilled. Okay, I will, with one hand, grab onto the back of Brody's shirt and never let go, <laughs> and sing a little song about healing for poor Clayton, who just had his head squished. So it goes something like. Bones knit and flesh repair. What's his name, Carl? Carl. <laughs> that, that what like? What's his What's name? What's his name, Carl? <laughs> what? Carl. Say my name. Yeah. It'll be better. That doesn't quite rhyme, but that's okay. Heal, heal, so heal away. No I mean, wounds away. Okay, give us a row then, please. Oh, yes. I should do that. Uh... Yes. Well, what does that mean? So that gives him a 1d8 heal. I heal 1d8 damage. Do I do it or does he? Up to you. Do you want to do it or do you, or do you want Carl to do it? Don't let Carl do it. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely <laughs> I'll not. I'll do Carl. it. I suppose I'm the one healing. So, what is it? Slash R 1d8? Yep. Three. I have healed Carl well, for three. So His yeah. head. Okay. So, Carl, you start to feel like you've probably got a nasty gas on your head. You can feel it sort of, you feel like slightly more help. You, you sort of feel it sort of starting to knit itself back together on top of your head. It's a fucking weird sensation. But yeah, you can feel it starting to, you know, the wound is slowly knitting itself back up. Um, what are you doing anyway? Because, like I said, you've got all these uh, zombies now heading down towards you, and your only fault, form of defense, you just threw us. Did you throw it? Yeah, yeah. I threw it. Did you do any damage to it? Did you hit? Uh, you, I got a you partial. Uh, partial. Okay, did I? All right, give us a. Just roll your base damage, please. Uh... It was a volley roll, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so on volley rolls, you get to pick, which isn't good. Mm -hmm. um, obvious, obvious, because obviously one of them doesn't apply. So on volley, so when you roll a seven to nine, you deal your damage and choose one. You have to move to get the shot, placing yourself in danger, ask the GM how. You take what you can get, minus one D6. And the other option is you have to take several shots, reducing the ammo by one. But because it's only a one wet one thing throw, that ammo yeah. doesn't apply. So what uh, are you doing? Which option? I'll do the one d six. Okay, so roll your damage of d eight or so whatever it is. Is, is. is it? I got a two. And now roll a d six. Just slash r space. Okay, don't do any. You throw, you throw, well, obviously you've got a two. You throw that you you throw this rock at the um at, at the at the ash zombie and it just bounces off it, just, but it's it's just now stuck in the corner. But like I said, there's all these zombies coming down. Three more zombies, sort of like, well, I guess two more zombies coming down towards you. If only you had some way to protect yourself from the zombies. Uh, <laughs> you're right. I'll hide behind Thyret. <laughs> we'll hide behind each other. What? This is our party battle tactic. Um, there if is only a, we had done this at the beginning. I, <laughs> I, I, um, unfortunately, there is a zombie between yourself and Thyret. It's only got one arm, though, so it's only got a few. It has only got one arm. <laughs> it depends on his... Depends on his fucking well. Give us how are you gonna get past it. Uh, I'm going to go around on the way, go around the side that doesn't have an arm. Still can headbutt you or bite you. Or kick you. Or kick you. It's like, or is there not enough space that I can't I can't clear it that it can't kick me? Alright, well give us a defy danger based on decks, please. Okay. Fuck. Partial. <laughs> That's okay. Um, uh, you think the safest way to get around it is to run around the statue. So run, run around the back, of the, behind the statue, round, round the back, so round here, and then run around there. Um, so it takes you a little bit longer to get there, but you eventually get there. 
Okay. Um, however, you did leave your knife on the floor. Yeah, I know. I, I realized that after <laughs> I moved. So, so, uh, so you, don't, you don't have your knife or the rock? Nope. <laughs> okay. I have a sword, though. Wait, what happened to the rock? Oh, okay. Is it still there? He the just corner. threw it. He just threw it in the corner. There's a zombie. There's a there's oh, another yes, zombie did, just yeah. standing in the standing in the corner, looking rather bemused, not knowing where or what he can do. Right, because we missed our break last time, should we have a quick ten minute break now and then come back? Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we'll see you all in five ten minutes. I'm gonna go get it. How long do we want? Do we want five? Who does anyone? I'm fine with five. It don't matter to me. Yeah, five. I, I need to go. To, I need to go and get a coffee from team. downstairs. So. Ten minutes. Ten. So we're back in ten minutes. I'm gonna go cool. refill my 